What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we're doing six at once. We're doing which one of us is the machine, which is get and equip a new AI. Passion for Fashion, which is wear a new armor customization item. Need a weapon, which is try out a new weapon customization item. That thing on the left is the break, which is test drive a new vehicle customization. Reporting for duty, which is change your Spartan tag. And I'm ready, how about you, which is change your Spartan's look in the customize menu. So from the main menu here, you can see up at the top, there's play, customize, community, and shop. You want to move over to customize, and that's where we're going to be working out of to get all these achievements. We're going to go down to Spartan ID first. You could do these in any order, but I just decided to do them in this way for no particular reason, really. And then the first option here is the one we want. This is service tag. You're going to click on this, and this will enable you to change whatever your service tag is. Uh, it's going to be something random by default. And that way your teammates could more easily identify you and call out to you uh, for communication purposes or for just uh, taunting or uh, raging or, you know, whatever. Whatever uh, may be happening that particular match. But anyway, we're going to the next one. We're going to go down to stance at the bottom here. And we're going to go just change our Spartan uh, stance here. So there's only two that are available at the start. So... Just go to the second one, equip that. This will pop. So easy enough there. Now we're going to go on to the next one. This next one is actually not in the Spartan ID section, so we're going to have to back out one more level and then go up to body and AI. We're going to switch out our AI. The default one uh, is the one we have, which is Butler, and we're going to change him for either one of the two that are available. You can see you only get three available right off the bat without any unlocks or purchases, so... You could obviously get more over time just by playing and earning them, or you could just buy some uh, tokens or whatever they're calling the currency in the game here. But we are now going to back out of the body and AI section, and we're going to head to the armor hall, the first option here. Again, you could do this in any order, it doesn't matter. Uh, I kind of did it out of order, you could say. I went down to the bottom of the list. But you could see here in the armor hall, there are three different armor cores that you could look at. But the only one that's available right now actually is the first one. So we're going to go to that one. We're going to hit mod. And if you don't know which button mod is, just take a look at the bottom left of the screen. It's probably different for you since there's a lot of different controller and keyboard layouts. So it's A for me, but it might be something different for you. But anyway, you can see I'm just kind of looking around, seeing if there's anything I could change on my Spartan here so I could get the achievement. There wasn't anything that far down the list, but I went all the way back to the left. And I'm just going to change my color. Change to a pretty uh, yellow silver. That's right, my Spartan is always yellow, and it doesn't make any sense, because my gamer tag is Silver Scorpion 4. But don't worry about it, don't think about it too hard. We're going to back up now and go to the weapons bench, and we are going to change the skin on our assault rifle. So open that up, and you can see it's just hovering right there, right in front of us. And we're just going to do the same thing we did to our armor, which is just kind of go into this uh, color-changing portion of the menu. And you can see there's only two options available, so just change it to the second one. The first one is obviously the one it is by default, so just toggle on that second one, and you'll get this achievement. And we're going to do the same exact thing with the vehicle bay now. So back out, go to the vehicle bay. We're going to do the same thing with the Warthog. We're just going to go to the color section, change it to the second color, and that will get the achievement to pop. And that will be six achievements, very quick and easy. And we are on our way to 119 achievements in Halo Infinite, at launch at least. I don't know why they landed on 119 and not 117, but uh, that's where we're at. So thank you everyone for watching. I will see you guys very soon with another achievement guide. You know we're coming out with a ton of them, so I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the Scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.